As you heard in the announcement, today the church has set aside this Sunday to, uh, to consider and to be in the word of God, if you will, uh, how important that is for the life of our church. And if we recall that John's gospel, the first passages of John's gospel, there's some very poetic language about the word. The word was in the beginning and the word was made flesh and the word dwells among us. The word is Jesus. So not only is scripture important both to the Jewish people and to Christians, which ties our, our heritages together, it also is the beginning of the church, for Jesus founded the church. He brought the kingdom of heaven here on earth. So the word of God has created the church. And if we look at the gospel, we see a few things in this gospel that I'd like to point out. One is the beginning of this, of this passage, Jesus talks about repent, for the kingdom of heaven is near. Repent has not only the word to, to uh, look, look at our sins and our faults and ask for forgiveness. Repent in this, in this text may also mean to change our lives, to be different than we were before, to have that encounter with Jesus, to have that encounter with the kingdom of God and be changed. That's really what this gospel is asking us to do, is to have an encounter and then to be changed. And then we see that the actual apostles have an encounter with Jesus. Now let's, let's examine fishermen a little bit because it's important to see how the call occurred. Fishermen, from what I understand in this time in Palestine, had really three classes. They weren't just men who went out and threw a pole in the water or a net in the water and pulled in fish. Fishermen could be the owner of the boat, and who rented the boat out, and uh, the other people manned the boat. There could be that middle strata who managed the boat. People who uh, hired and fired, if you will, and uh, told, what to, told them what to do. And then you had the bottom class, if you will, the third section, of the men who actually did the work. One commentary puts Peter and Andrew in that middle section. They weren't just the men working the boats, they managed that boat. So they weren't just looking for a job, were they? They had a job, just like the rest of us. We have things to do, whether we're a student, whether we work in industry or in, in service, or whether we are home doing work at home. We all have things to do, we all have a job. So they weren't looking for work when Jesus walked by, they had a job. But when he said, follow me, he called them to follow me. He gave them two things, a call and a promise. Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. So again, Jesus comes into their lives. They have an encounter with him that changes their lives. We come every Sunday or daily, if we wish, to Mass, where heaven and earth meet. We have an intimate personal contact with Jesus, an encounter with Jesus. We all come individually. We all have our own encounter to have with him. It's all different, isn't it? Each one of us are different. And he gives us a job to do. We encounter him. He asks us to come and follow him. But we also have a promise. And what that promise is, it's again, individual. How, what he promises for us and how we will react to that promise and what it leads to us is all going to be different. It's, never, it's not the same for each one of us. So we have this encounter. So this morning, when you have this encounter with Jesus, when you receive him in Holy Communion, the Eucharist, which is his body and blood, remember that he is calling you and you're having an intimate encounter. When you go back to your pew, Ask for a minute what he wants you to do with that encounter. What is the mission he's sending you on to reach out to others, just as the apostles did? The apostles had an encounter with Jesus. He promised them something, and they encountered, and they brought 
Christianity, they brought the message of the God the kingdom to humanity. And we're to bring the mes message of the kingdom to humanity as well, to our brothers and sisters that we encounter each and every day in our lives. So the light has come. The light has come to Zebulon and Naphtali, to Nazareth and Capernaum. The light is Jesus, and we are to bring the light of Jesus into the world.